Hi, this is Shannon from Critter Knitter Crafts, and today I'm going to walk you through how I embroider the eyes on my dolls. So, the last video I showed you how to do the face sculpting, um, and that's how to make those sort of eye sockets and the nose there. Um, and so today we're going to learn how to do the um, embroidering the eyes. So what you'll need is some embroidery thread, um, typically some black and white, and then what other Ever color you want the eyes to be. And this is an Alice in Wonderland doll, so she has blue eyes, so I'm gonna have my main color is this blue, and then I may add a little bit of accent of this darker, brighter blue. And then I also found these really cool eyelashes on um, Amazon, and you can see it's just a length of, of eyelash here. And so what I normally do is I'll measure and, and cut it and then sew it on. And I'll show you how to do this. But these were found, um, they're doll eyelashes um, on Amazon. So normally I start with marking where my pupils are going to be. Um, and that's says, um, you know, sort of right in the middle. Make sure it's kind of even. Um, and that's just with a pin. Um, you also need scissors and you'll need um, a sharp embroidery needle. So I typically start with the pupil. And there are lots of ways to do this. I've seen um, others that have um, made an eye on felt and sewn it in. And um, you can certainly use safety eyes instead of, of embroidering, but I found that these um, are my favorite and look the most realistic. Um, so normally I will come in from the side and just start with one eye. And it's okay to make the pupil a little bit bigger than what you expect it to stay because it will be covered with some of the color. So once I get that first in, I'm gonna leave this tail long so I can sew it in at the end. I'm gonna start just going back and forth here with the black. And then go down just a little bit and then you're going to start getting more narrow with your stitches. And I don't want you to get discouraged if it doesn't turn out how you want it to. Um, this I have practiced over and over and again. I have cut out countless eyeballs and redone them. So don't be discouraged if it's not how you like it. I've just simply snipped the stitches and try again. That's about how I start with my pupil there. I'm actually going to make one more stitch and I'm going to go all the way through to the other side so that I don't have to cut the thread and then um, reinsert it. Just gives me less, less ends to sew in later. And then the same thing on this side. Just try to keep it even with the other side. And again, if it is bigger than you expect it to be, that's okay, because we're gonna cover it up with some color. So what I'm going to do with this last stitch is I'm going to come out to this side here. 
That just lets me have a long end in case I need to add more black later. And that way I don't have to cut it and then reattach it. So I'm just gonna leave that there. And then I'm going to go on to adding my color next. So now I've threaded my blue thread on and I'm gonna start just with one eye again. And I'm gonna go in from the, the side. I'm gonna make sure to leave a little tail and I'm gonna get where it hooks just a little bit into the black. I'm gonna leave this tail long so I can sew it in. And then I'm gonna go stitch just around. So I'm going to continue just outlining the eye there. Oops. See how I am just going around that pupil. Okay, I'll outline the bottom of it. Sometimes you get a little knot in your embroidery thread. Usually you can pick it out. here. Sometimes it's a little tough with the nose in the way.
I just kind of look at it and see, you know, it looks not quite full enough. And so what I'm going to do is add one more stitch up a little bit higher on this side and then go through to the other side. And I want to make that blue up a little bit higher. Just kind of add a couple extra stitches up in the corner. And I may add a little bit more black to make it more of a circle shape at the end. I might take that end and add that extra stitch right there. And then since I still have blue on the needle, I'm gonna come back to that black. That's what it looks like so far. And then I'm going to go back to the other side and I'm gonna go ahead and do the blue on this side. Try to make the stitches equal in size so that your eyes are equal. I kind of see the line up where color starts. And then after this we'll add white and that's really going to um, make it more, look more realistic. And just repeat that same procedure. So what I'm going to do, I actually think I need to add a little bit more black to this side. So I'm going to mark about where the bottom of the blue is on that eye. So I know how far to go down. And then I'll come back through with that long tail that we had and add some more black. I'm actually going to pause and, and do that because I want it to look the same. So I've got my black re-threaded and I'm going to go back through the same hole I came out of so that there's no black stitch there. And I just need to add a, um, a stitch or two down at the bottom to make this black even with the other black. And this is why I leave that long tail there. I'm going to add because I know that on the other eye I needed another stitch up at the top. I'm going to go ahead and add it on this one while I have the black. Make it a little bit 
bit shorter so it's more round shape. since I have the black again. And do those couple of extra black stitches that I wanted to do there just to make it more round. And then I'm going to end over on the side again like I did. So it just makes it a little more full. And then we'll have the eyelashes that go across it to make it look um, like a more finished look. Get the blue going again and finish up the blue. All right, I got my blue re-threaded here and I'm gonna finish up this second eye with the blue. stitch and also if you notice one area is not quite as full as another you can always backtrack and so I'm gonna get one more stitch around this little corner of the eye and then just come out back on that other side
gonna hold them up and make sure they're fairly even. They're pretty close. And again, I'm gonna stitch this off to the side so I can sew it in later or if I need to add some more. And then we will add some white. All right, I have my white thread here. And what I'm going to do is just coming from the side, I'm just going to make a thin outline around the bottom of each eye and then add the spot in the pupil just for that light reflex that you see. When I get to this last stitch, and go back through, and then up into the side. So I typically do it in the mid to upper right hand corner of the pupil here. So I had to cut the little knot out, and that happens sometimes, so my thread is shorter, so I probably won't be able to get the whole other eye done, but we're going to try. What we do is go the last area and then push up through the black. And then just depending on how big you want this reflex to be. And just once or twice, make a little stitch over top of the black. And actually, I'm going to do it twice. So I'm going to plan to stitch through and then go over to the other eye. Let's see how far I can get with this thread. Reflex there. Let's see if I can make it around. It's partially around the eye here. You can just repeat the same thing, just a thin strip of white along the bottom. And I've gone back and forth about 
whether I like this, um, what I prefer, and you can leave the white off. I just think it looks, makes the eyes brighten up a little bit and kind of separates it from the rest of the face. I tried doing bottom lids, eyelids in the skin color, and I just didn't like the way it bulked it up. Again, you can do what you feel like is gonna be best for your doll. You also can make the eyes bigger or smaller. Um, you can make you know the eyes look very large and cartoony or more uh, more realistic, however you want your doll to look. And I might be able to finish, let's see, the eye here. With this last stitch, I'm going to go on that same quadrant of the eye that I did on the other side. Do my two stitches. And because this is so short, I'm just gonna pull it out through the top of the head here. Because that'll be the, the end of that white, and we'll be able to use that one again. And so that's what the eyes look like so far. So I just moved some of the thread ends out of the way so we can see how things look without anything in the way. So far they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, so our next step will be putting the eyelashes on. Um, and so I actually do use a little bit of glue. Um, any kind of glue is fine. It's not what's going to be holding it down. I, I just use it to tack it on so I can sew it. So I'm going to go grab some glue. I use... Um, the art glitter glue that I use for other crafts, but you can use something as simple as just Elmer's glue, anything to hold it in place for a second. You can also pin it down. I just found that it was um, a little too cumbersome. So I'm gonna grab those supplies and we'll get started on that part. All right, to get started with the eyelashes, um, as you can see, I still have the strings attached just in case I wanna change anything, but um, luckily I'm just gonna tuck them in and, and snip them when we're finished here. All right, so what you're gonna do, this comes in long strips, so just kind of get an idea. You wanna make it a little bit longer. Um, that way, whether it be too long than too short, you can clip it. So just get an idea of about where you want it. And then just clip it. And then you can use that to measure and clip the second. And again, I found these eyelashes, they're just doll eyelashes, um, and I found them on Amazon. You can also just use um, embroidery thread and, and kind of stitch them on. I just found when I am spending so much time to make the eyes look realistic that I want the, the eyelashes to look realistic as well, and I, I couldn't um, seem to stitch it the way I wanted to. So I found these cool little, um, eyelashes. So I just have this art glitter glue here um, and I'm just going to just a little bit dab it on the bottom of this just a tiny bit because again this is not what's going to keep the eyelashes on ultimately although it does help. Um, but this is what is going to keep it in place while I sew it on. And then just kind of have to manipulate it to where you want it to be without it sticking to your finger or your stick. This one is a little long, so I'm going to make sure I have 
that edge there so I can oops, trim it. Do the same for the other. And again, you can also pin it down. so far and then typically I won't use I'll use embroidery floss but typically I'll pull it apart you don't want it really thick in there so I'll get a small piece of it and then get maybe just one of the threads through you can also use sewing thread if you don't want to use your embroidery thread just want it thin because you don't want to be able to see the stitches. You want to kind of hide them in the lashes. Okay. Apparently I can't get uh, my needle threaded today. I'm going to start with the one I put on first. I'm going to come in from the far side. Get my camera where you can see. Come in from the far side. And then just right underneath the lash line. And then you want to try your best to go in between the lashes. And just kind of sew a few stitches around the edge there. And when you come to pull it through, just make sure you don't have any of the lashes caught in there. And they pull through pretty nicely. stitches. You can do as few or as many as you like. Whatever you think would hold it well enough. And you could also use some fabric glue if you wanted to um, make it more long-lasting on the yarn instead of stitching as much. Kind of make sure you're fluffing up the eyelashes as you go along. Make sure none's tangled up in there. Just small, tiny stitches around.
And then just take a minute to kind of flip up, flip up the eyelashes. Um, you may trim some if you need to. And then I don't think I'm going to have enough length on this for the other side, but we're going to get try and get started. See. Just pull through and then just make sure that last stretch that you unstick any that might have gotten stuck. And then just repeat the same thing on the other side. Just a few small stitches along the eyelash line. And actually, it seems to work a little bit better if you hold on to the eyelashes as you're stitching through. It doesn't seem to, to grab as many. And you can see it really likes to stick to the yarn. The eyelashes are coarse. And so they like to get stuck in the yarn. So you just have to kind of fluff them up um, and manipulate them to make them how you want them. And then we'll just tie off this yarn or this thread here. Is how I make my doll eyes. You can see, um, get on with eyelashes. The next thing to do for this doll um, is adding her hair. Um, for her mouth, typically I just make a, a simple little smile um, with a with just an embroidery. I've tried some more um, in depth. Uh, smiles and mouths and I just haven't found one that I love yet so I just do a simple um, little smile and we'll put um, actually I'll be able to put our ears on now um, as you know real people their the top of their ear lines up with the top of their eye and so now that I have the eyes in place I can accurately place her ears as well um, and then um, I will do a video for the hair that I make I thank you so much for watching